heart is throbbing like crazy right now. He thinks that the person who killed the wonderful Mahiru Koizumi is in this room. Impossible! Impossible! That's so impossible! There's no way I can believe that! Ugh! I can't do anything! How annoying! But I'm just gonna believe in everyone! That's the least I can do! Everyone do your best! Don't lose to yourself! And don't forget to save regularly! Well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Which means... the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime? After I left? They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there! Then, does that mean the killer came back? Hmm... I wonder... At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. I want to play a new game, is that what you're thinking? If so, we, uh, we prepared the perfect product for you. You will dive into your own brain, logically discern the mysterious, uh, the, the mysterious answer from, se 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 from several questions. It's called Logic Dive. During a, during the Logic Dive, you will control a version of yourself create, uh, created from an image within your brain. What? What is this? I can move sideways and accelerate with that. Uh, that's a break, and then this is the jump. Okay? Oh crap. What? <sighs> She's right. This might be a very important problem. If the killer had tampered with the evidence after Hyoko ran away from the beach house, when did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? If I just focus and think about it, I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. Alright, I'm going to do it. Uh... What? Okay, so... Accelerate is that. Jump. Okay. Oh, I get that! Alright, cool. Question one. When did the killer arrive at the beach house? Before or after? Uh... Uh... Before? Did I get it right? I assume I did. Oh, I missed that! Jesus Christ. When did the killer leave the bi beach house? Uh, after Hyoko left? But then we didn't see anybody else, right? So it would have to be before, I think. Is this correct? Oh my- wait, what? That's correct? Oh, jeez, I gotta- Oh no, I missed the- uh oh, 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 oh. Okay, 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 okay. Where was the killer hiding while Hyoko was unconscious? Uh, it would have to be the beach. 
because there's nobody in the beach house. But when not I- That's not right! So the beach house? Where in the beach house though? Where can you hide in the beach house? It's all coming together! Do you think the killer might have been hiding? You spent all that time thinking just to say something so pointless. How disappointing. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. No, there should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Yoko. What are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make Akane bop you on the head and shut you up for good. I really don't want that to happen to me. I need to answer that by any means. A place where the killer was hiding. A place, uh, the place uh, Hyoko hasn't looked. It, it, it hasn't looked is where. I can't think of anything. It cannot be the trash can because it's too small. Oh, in here? Here! The killer is probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said you rushed out of it, right? And you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. But could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Kyoko knowing? That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. The killer made sure uh, made sure to arrange a hiding place in, in advance. I can only think of one place. That's right, the place where the killer was hiding inside the closet was. Uh, what? On what that. about the surfboard case in the closet? I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. Huh? Inside the surfboard case? But the shelf it was on. It was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf. And there were surfboards that weren't even in a case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Because we haven't been on this island that long. So the closet shouldn't have been that messy. I think. Then, the killer was close to me during that time? Yeah, they were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. It's kind of like, in for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. Don't you mean, it's always darkest under the lighthouse? <laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Anyway. The killer hid silent, and after making sure Hyoko left, they finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house. Watching Hyoko. Say whatever you want, even if you didn't ask. Alright, if you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch ya! <laughs> oh, you shut up. Then, quit your teeth. Sorry, Akane. 
It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma, can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Is the killer also included among those three or more people? Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. Okay, well, obviously the killer is one person to discover the body because, because the killer is the one who killed the body! You don't sound very articulate. Jeez, you're pretty annoying for noticing something like that. I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done. What? Which means three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. Okay, so excluding the killer, Hyoko definitely saw Mahiru. Kazuichi saw Mahiru. That's two people. And then the announcement played. Isn't that strange? You're the one who went on a tangent! Uh, um, we were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hiyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be alright. If you guys have come this far, I'm sure you can discover that answer too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? The final feature in a non-sub debate. From this point on, you will now be able to use the truth flashback. Oh boy, okay. This shouldn't be new. Okay, I gotta memorize it, and... Okay. Okay. I can use it as many times as I like. I will not be able to agree with someone using the truth flashback. Okay, I see. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and... Oof. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet. Maybe it's the other way around? Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Maybe they were able to wash it off. Maybe they wore one when they moved- If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They I cut it off- They couldn't use the shower, so washing it off would have been impossible. 
No, that's wrong! They just needed to wash off the blood. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. They could have just as easily used something else. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? Something other than the shower was used to wash off the blood. It was, it's possible it was... The drinks in the refrigerator? Because it can't be- because we definitely saw those. I see! Drinks inside the refrigerator. Couldn't the killer have used those to wash off the blood? I've seen through it. Um, really? In theory, that's impossible. Why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. It's true, there were drinks. In the beach house, which, however, try to put one bottle to it wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. It's true, there were in the beach house refrigerator, however, try to put one bottle to it wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! Ah, oh, what?! It's true there were drink in the beach house with however, try one bottle drink, it wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. Allow me to cut through those words! There were water bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. They may not there may not be water bottles in the refrigerator, but there were definitely water bottles. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Huh? You should have said so soda. Then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of a shower. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. Hold on a second. Now that I think about it, if they soaked their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles, if they did that, that person could be... Seems you've realized who the killer is. See? Just as I thought. Hold on. You... You know who the killer is? <laughs> is that true? Let me ask. Who might that be? 